Hello guys, what's up? Welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you Bogota, the capital of Colombia, famous for its delicious coffee, vibrant nightlife, and beautiful people. In this video I'll be giving you some fun facts about Bogota, my favorite places, and everything you need to know about this city. So thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. Hello guys, what's up? Welcome to a new video. Today I am in Bogota, Colombia, the fifth largest city in Latin America. There are 10 million people in this huge city. As you can see, this city looks massive. It reminds me a little bit of Mexico City because it's a big city, has so much energy, traffic, and there's so much going on. Bogota is not a very touristy city and it's not very popular with tourists, but let me tell you, there's plenty of things to do here. This city is one of my favorite cities in Latin America. It has so much going on. It has great restaurants. The people are so friendly. The nightlife is incredible. People are nice, people are beautiful, and it's a great destination. So if you've never been to Colombia and you want to know a little bit more about Bogota, then this video will help you out because I'm gonna show you places that you should go to, places to eat and information that might help you if you want to come here and plan your trip. So are you ready? Let's get started. So right now I am in Monserrate. Monserrate is one of the most popular attractions here in Bogota in a place that you don't want to miss. This is the place to come if you want to have a very nice view of Bogota. You'll be able to see Bogota in all its glory. Look at this. Wow, this city is massive. It's a little bit polluted today, so the view is not that clear, but still, the view is great. And up here, there is a church also, and there are some stalls where you can have some typical Colombian food. You can also buy some souvenirs. And by the way, it gets very packed here. So make sure you come early. And also there are three options. If you wanna come up here, you take a teleferico, which is like a little train. You can buy a single trip or a round trip, or you can buy the VIP ticket, which is what I bought because the lady told me that the line to go down is very long. I highly recommend this place. It has been one of my favorite spots in the city. So here in Monserrate, there are many stalls that sell typical Colombian food and I got hungry so I'm gonna try a very typical dish here in Colombia which is called Sancocho. Sancocho is like a soup and it's huge, it's massive. Let's try it and see how it tastes like. Mm. It comes with potatoes and I think this is yuca. And it also comes with this massive corn very good if you come to colombia try sancocho it's a very typical dish So right now I am in Plaza Bolívar, which is the main square of Bogotá. This is like the Zócalo of the city. 
if you have only a few days in Bogota, this is a place that you don't want to miss and it's beautiful, the architecture is amazing. Around here there are many museums, so this is like the museum area. Just one tip, if you come to the historic center of Bogota, everyone has told me, locals, everyone, that I need to be careful here. Now, it's not dangerous, I don't feel like I'm in danger or like the area is, you know, bad but just it's crowded and you should be careful because you know maybe you leave your bag unattended or something and someone might take it so this is that area for pit bucket I guess so you just be careful when you come here and also try not to bring all your cash or all your money or your belongings try not to dress very like you know expensive I guess and I think if you follow like normal rules and if you are careful you'll be fine uh, Bogota in general I feel like it's pretty safe I have felt safe all the time I'm gonna try some typical food from Bogota. I ordered something called ajiaco and I am in this restaurant called the best ajiaco in the world. So I'm sure this is a good place to try an authentic ajiaco. It's a very thick soup. It looks very thick and it comes with some rice, uh, also with some avocado and I ordered this drink. Oh, que rico! It's good, it's good, but I've never tried this flavor, I don't know, in Colombia they have different ingredients, so I have never tried this flavor, it's like something completely new for me. Bogotá was founded in August 6th in 1538 and since then the city has transformed into a modern mega city of 12 million people. Now some of you might be wondering if it's safe to visit Bogotá and let me tell you while I was there I always felt safe although many many people told me to be very careful. I actually was going to cancel my trip because there were so many people telling me that it was unsafe and that I should be careful and because I was going by myself I wasn't sure if it was a good idea but let me tell you Bogota is very very safe I never felt unsafe some areas you might want to avoid at night but in general Bogota is pretty safe and actually according to expert international sources Bogota has lower crime rates than many US cities like Miami, Indianapolis and Pittsburgh. Okay guys, so I am in an area called Zona T. This is the wealthy area of Bogota and is in the north of Bogota. So the north of Bogota is the wealthy area and this is like the leisure, it's kind of like Polanco, like Beverly Hills I guess of Colombia. There are many stores, luxury stores and it's a very different atmosphere. Right here there is a mall called Andino Shopping Mall which is one of the most famous shopping malls in Bogota. Actually I think it's one of the most expensive ones. If you want to have like a nice dinner or you want more like upscale places, this is the place to come and I'm actually going to explore neighborhoods that are near here 
that I know are very beautiful because, well, they are the wealthy area of Bogota. So we're gonna continue our tour. We're gonna walk around this neighborhood and see how it's like. So I just got out of these amazing grocery stores. You guys know I love going to grocery stores when I travel and this one is amazing. It is called Corulla. Corulla uh, in the rich area of Bogota. They have an amazing selection of fruits, produce and everything. It was just such a nice uh, grocery store. So in this trip I stayed in this Airbnb which was very very nice, I highly recommend it. It is located in Los Rosales in Northern Bogota and it's very near Zona T and Zona G. So if you want to stay in this area, I will leave the link below, I highly recommend this place. If you're gonna try an amazing bakery here in Bogota, you should try Les Amis Biscocheria, which is here in Sonate. And I went there and I ordered this, which is called uh, Media Luna. They told me this is like their signature bread. Mm. I love the consistency, it's not that sweet, uh, it's very fresh and it's amazing So right now I am in an area called Zona G. Zona G is a very cool and trendy area. This is in North Chapinero and in this area you will find a lot of cool restaurants, bars, cafes and it's very nice. What I love about this area is that most of the buildings are red or orange and right now we're going for breakfast. So I am in a cafe called Juan Valdez. This is a very typical cafe. This is like the Starbucks of the Colombians and I ordered this. This is called uh, Granizado and it has Arequipe on the top. So let's try it and see how it tastes like. Mm. Mm. And I also ordered a arepa. Arepas are very typical here in Colombia. This is an arepa and this is filled with cheese. The taste is very nice and I also ordered this, uh, this is a torta de café with uh, nuts. Wow, this is amazing. Mm. Highly recommended. This café is very good. Everything was very tasty. So if you come to Colombia, you have to come. Juan Valdez Café, very very delicious and don't forget to try the arepa because it's delicious and also their coffee is very good.
Another place that I highly recommend you check out is called Paloque Mao Market. This is a place to go if you want to try some exotic fruits from Colombia. I actually made a video where I try those fruits, so if you want to check it out, I will leave the link below. Okay guys, we are finished. Thank you very much for watching till the end. If you are planning a trip to Bogota, I hope this video helped you out. And well, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys on my next video. Take care and stay healthy.